everyone welcome back to the channel and if you're new to the channel please do hit the subscribe button right so this was a requested video i did sort of see who would be interested in seeing all my finished pages from kirby roseanne's fragile world coloring book because this is the one that i've done the most in um a lot of people were quite interested so i have to say i wanted to film this a few days ago but we're having a heat wave here in england i've heard on the radio that uh Aussie friends are laughing at us calling this a heat wave, but we're not used to it. <laughs> we're not used to it. So be nice, don't be mean. Um yeah, it is today it is 37, 38 degrees, and it's just obviously we have no air conditioning in our houses over here, and I am melting. I've actually got a headache and I've been drinking loads of water, loads of water, but every time I get up I feel a bit a bit funny and my head's a bit funny today so yeah i'm gonna keep this quite short and then i'll be on the school run shortly so hopefully i can keep my little boy away from the park because you know sitting out in the sun isn't my idea of fun it's really not so first off i'll explain why i've got two copies here <laughs> so the first copy my original copy that i got um i ruined one of the pages in it so i did buy myself another another copy so i've got only two completed pages in my first one and then i moved on to this one and did all the rest in there so we'll start with this one the one that we've only got two pages in the first one i did in here was this one so these are the are they the wild dogs are the wild dogs let's have a check 36 they are no that's not right 68 not 36 <laughs> i think the wild dogs they are African wild dogs, yeah. So we've got, I'm going to bring you up a bit. It's not quite getting my double pages on here, is it? Is that fair enough? Oh, that's all okay. So this page was done with a um, distressing background with water thrown on. That's what created this. Um, the actual dogs was done with the Derwent Inktense pencils, which there is a video of me doing that on the channel somewhere. Um, I think I put two videos up. One was real. I think one was real time and one was a time lapse. So perhaps if you go under my playlists in colour alongs or time lapses, it'll be under one of those. But it was really fun to do, and they just they do an intense range of pencils. Just had the perfect colours um, to do these wild dogs in, and I loved it. I didn't feel the need to go in um, and colour the grass on this one. I just felt like. I wanted the, the dogs to really stand out and that's why I just left the background as the distress ink and that was it. I didn't go in with individual detailing on these grass leaves or anything like that. I just left it pretty basic. Um, but I have got the chance to do this page again in my second copy so perhaps it'd be nice to see, you know, a different way of doing it. So I, I'm, I really enjoyed colouring that so perhaps, yeah, I might do it again. And the other one in here was these parrots. And again, similar with this one in the background. This was a soft pastel background this time. And I sort of did this sort of, a sort of really subtle bokeh effect. Um, I was going for in the background here. And yeah, again, I didn't feel the need to go in with detailing. But looking at it again, I think next time I would. So I think in my second copy, I would do this page again and put some detail in. I think it would have been at least really nice to colour these pine cones in, if nothing else. Do you know, just little pops of colour on the pine cones, if I'd have done that, I think that would have looked a lot better. But as regards to the colours on the actual parrot, I really like those, really like those. And that's all I did on the first copy. So moving on to the second copy that I, that I purchased that we've got a lot more in you can see all my tags in this one so we'll start with the back oh my top lip's sweating already that's very glamorous isn't it oh, so hot guys cannot even <laughs> right so this one was the eels i believe i did this on debbie's channel when i was at debbie's house um but the background on this one was decor at americana acrylic paint then I used a white paint pen over the top and it was my polychromos pencils 
um, for the actual eels on this one. It was a very easy, easy sort of mindless page to do this one because I did the eels all similar sort of colour. It was just really mindless, really mindless and I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. The hardest bit about this page was going in between all the little sections with the acrylic paint, you know, trying to not get it on my eels. Um, but that was it. That was a really, really fun one. Really easy. One of my tags has fell out. I know which page that's fell out of. Don't you worry. <laughs> so the next was this one. Now I didn't like this one. And if you saw my June's finished pages video, you'll you'll know why I didn't like this one. But it was just it was one of them pages where it's just going horrible from from start to finish. And each time you try and make something better you make it worse <laughs> it was one of them pages and you know you just have them you have them everybody has them and even if you think oh it's all right or i quite like it it's just yourself isn't it you have an idea in your head when you start a coloring page of what you imagine it to look like and and yeah it, it wasn't it guys it wasn't it <laughs> but all the background is stickles which you can see sparkling a lot of watered down acrylic white paint went over the top of here. Um, the actual otter was polychromos pencils with white paint pen detailing over the top. And I don't like it, you know, I don't like it, but let's just put it down as it's done. So it's, it's a page I don't like. I'll get over it. <laughs> this is a page I do quite like, my little koala bears. So again, this was a soft pastel background and I can't quite remember which pencils, but I do tend to use my polychromos a lot, if not all the time. So I will just go with saying that it's polychromos. Um, if you can hear a lot of traffic, I've got my windows open, so I apologise, I can't shut them. I'm, I'm, bleh, I'm lovered, as we say here in the UK, that means I'm hot. I'm hot and sweaty. But yeah, I think that one's quite cute, quite cute. And then we have the double page spread of axolotls. Have I said that right? I apologise, I think there's an emergency vehicle going past the house now. So I'll rock and roll on my, um, on my filming, isn't it? On my videos. But yeah, I love this one, love this one. Um, I think I used the Prima watercolours on this one, so the background was all... A really nice Prima watercolour from the Decadent Pies set, I believe. Um, this would have been my Polychromos pencils again for the actual, actual axolotls. Um, looks like Polychromos pencils for the rocks as well. The branch and the tree look like watercolours. Oh, that's a noisy. That's a noisy one. Sorry, guys. That's a really noisy emergency vehicle. It's a fire engine. <gasps> How bad is that? Oh my gosh. Right, I'm going to put a warning on the video. Take your earphones out on that bit. <laughs> yeah, but the tree branch, it looks like a watercolour. Um, and then I've gone over the top with pencil for a bit of shading. And then I've used lots of my Arteza glitter gel pens on these parts here, which if I hold it up, you'll be able to see just shine in there you can see all the little shiny bits and i love that page it's one of my favorites and it will remain one of my favorites for a good long while i think next up was this sea turtle so i did do a video on this on the channel as well and this was trying to recreate the front cover so obviously it's not um down to the t down to every nitty gritty part looking the same it's not it was just a sort of me looking at that and taking inspiration from it especially with the black background so i can feel on the texture of this page that i did actually gesso this page um before i did it and i used gouache i used my gouache on this page and then all the little black detailings on his fins i used a micron pen because they don't smudge the fab and then this was a gel pen for the bubbles but yeah i love that page i love it i love feeling it as well when you do anything with some sort of texture it's so nice just to put your hand across it isn't it i've got another page like that in this book textured one and it's here so that was lucky 
So this is my other texture page. This is the Rhino page. So the background on this one was a full pencil background. Polychromos again. Um, I was sort of regretting it when I started it, you know, because they take so long. It's so much easier to go in with a soft pastel background, but I think sometimes doing it with pencil just packs that little bit of a, more of a punch. Um, the Rhino, I think I might have done it with the Derwent Ink Tense pencils, if I remember rightly. And then over the top with a little bit of shading again with the pencils. So the bit that took me the longest on this page, so many hours, so many hours was this tree so this feels so nice and tactile to touch it feels awesome let me tell you and i used a decoart americana acrylic paint to do these flowers and i used a dotting tool so these dotting tools which you can get really cheap on amazon for a big pack i put a bit of paint in a palette i dipped my little dotting tool into the paint and i made little petals individually and you can imagine how long that took. You might have seen me do a little bit of it on the channel, but if I try and hold it up as best I can, you might be able to see the texture somewhat. But it is so nice to touch. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. The only thing we're doing anything textured like this is that if I wanted to colour, well, I have coloured this page, give you a sneak peek now. But when I was colouring this page, I had to pad pad under here right with lots of paper so that I wasn't feeling those bumps coming through this page, basically. But other than that, perfect. I love it. <laughs> so now you know what this page is. This one was a recent one, actually. This is double page spread of seals. I did this one on the channel as a time lapse. So if you want to see how I did it, um, you can watch that. The background was pencils, um, Faber-Castell Polychromos. The seals I did with a watercolour. Or was it a gouache? No, it was a watercolour. Watercolour. Um, the sea was all watercolour. And the rocks was watercolour. And then I went over the top with a Decoir Americana acrylic paint. Using a sponge. You know, like the... Um, sort of uh, some craft sponges you can get i don't know if i've got it to hand oh it's here i've got it it's here it's still mocha i use this so i just dip that into my paint you can still see where it is because i've not washed it because i'm naughty um <laughs> but yeah you dip it in and just sponge on and it gives you this really lovely effect really lovely effect if you don't want it so opaque you can water the paint down or just when you've dipped your sponge into the paint um, dab it a couple of times on some scrap paper first before going onto your page and that'll lessen the uh, lessen the amount that's going down but yeah it was it was quite a quick one that actually quite a quick one um, next up is my elephant page which I really love again it reminds me a bit of my koala page where it's pink in the background and a lot of green leafage going on but yeah I love this one again this was the Prima watercolour grey watercolour that I used as a base and then I went over the top with pencil again and um, I do like doing that it just makes it easier makes it really easier to shade um the background I'm unsure about the background it looks like it could have been a soft pastel and then I've gone in with a bit of pencil or a bit of watercolour it looks like maybe a bit of watercolour around the edges to deepen it um but I know straight away this would have been the green gold colour from the Polychromos set for this up here. Um, yeah, really, really love that page. It's a really cute one. I like elephants. So next up is this double page spread. And this is, I'll have to lift it up a bit because we're going to glare. That's better angle, isn't it? So this one is, what, is this a tiger? Is it a leopard? 34, let's check. I'm not quite sure. I like knowing what they are. I'm not good with my um, big cats because there's so many different different types. I get confused. <laughs> oh, it's a jaguar. Say, tiger. Tiger, leopard, and it's a jaguar. That's how silly I am. 
this was a really long time ago you know a really long time ago but i do remember that the background was distressing i remember it was distressing and i didn't go in with any pencil shading in that i just used um the distress ink to go darker um underneath the jaguar and around the jaguar um this was pencils but i can't remember what pencils and obviously all the leafy bits were pencil as well and then there might be a tiny amount of is there some stickles or some sort of glitter gel pen just on the wings there but yeah i remember the background was so quick on this page but then this took me forever you know making all these dark spots really really black that took a long time and then we've got the back page so this was watercolor background again on this page i must have put i must have been putting a bit too much water down because it has really like pilled on this page where you can sort of see the paper and um, the texture of the paper coming through um so i'm not i'm not all keen on this one because of that reason but i really love the colors that i chose on this one i love the color of the bat the sort of turquoise bat and the and these whatever these are supposed to be i like the color of those <laughs> but yeah it's just about what background putting it off for me on this one what's sort of not making it one of my favorites really so next up we have these so i'm not even sure what these are either i bet you're all shouting at the screen like oh i know what they are i know what they are but i'm gonna check i still want to look silly saying the summit they're not black footed ferrets there we go i was gonna say ferrets but i want to got the black footed bit in the in the start but there we go um these i did with the derwent intense pencils i can tell where i've gone in with them and I think I used similar colours on these to what I used on the wild dogs. You know, the African wild dogs. It was similar sort of shades. And um, the background was all soft pastels. All the rocks were soft pastels and it made this page so easy. So easy. I mean, it was so quick to do. So quick and easy to do. And it's, it's quite cute, isn't it? Quite cute. This is one of my favourites. So this is... You know what, when I first posted the video of this up on my channel, I put um, colouring the piranha page <laughs> and Debbie messaged me, she's like, they're not piranhas. I said, are they not? I said, what are they then? And she told me the name of them. She hadn't Googled it or anything, she watches David Attenborough, so she knows all these things. But what, what page is this, 27? And she knew the name of them and I quickly went over to YouTube and changed the name of my title in my video. I was like, oh, piranhas. They're not piranhas. Hump head rasses. Hump head rasses, that's what they are. So then when I found out that, I was like, oh, well, I wish I'd have done this fish the same colour as this fish. Or the other way around. I can't remember. When I googled a reference of what a hump head ras looked like, <laughs> I sort of, I think they look more like this colour. I don't know. I'm unsure. But I really love it anyway. I love the page anyway, I just love it. So the pinky peachy background was near colour twos, the Karen Dash near colour twos. Um all the coral reef sort of stuff was doing intense pencils with paint pen outlining all of it, which took a lifetime. I'm not gonna lie. Took a lifetime. Um the actual fish hump head rasses were done with they were done with the prima watercolors you know i recognize this brute blue from the decadent pies set because it's so pigmented it's gorgeous but yeah and then i put stickles on top of the fish so they really like they've got this shiny appearance to the to the fins and i love it it's one of my favorites it really is one of my favorite pages so i did do a bit of this on the channel if you want to go back into my playlist and find that one um next up was this butterfly I don't know what kind of butterfly it is. I'm not going to keep going backwards and forwards. I'm getting really hot now. Really hot. My t-shirt stuck to me. That's nice, isn't it? Um, but the background on this one was a pan pastel colour. Um, it was red. Red something. It weren't the tint. 
Oh, was it a tint? I've not got it to hand, but it was one of the Pan Pastels, the reds from the Pan Pastel set, portrait set. And um, I really love it. And at first when I did it, and then I chose red for these flowers, I thought, is it going to be too much red sort of thing? But I think it looks really nice. I think I think it looks really nice like that. And then obviously you've got the pop um, of colour from the butterfly in the middle. And then naturally this type of butterfly has red on its body. So I thought that incorporates a bit of the red coming into the butterfly, which is nice. So that, that again, that's one of my favourite pages. I really do like that one. It's really pretty. I'll bring it up a little bit. Really like that one. So next up, oh, and the monkey's cute. I think that was one of my next pages to do. Next up was this polar bear page. So again, this is a more recent one. And this I did on the channel as a colour along in two parts. Part one was more, more of a chatty video where I did the actual polar bear. And part two was um, a bit real time and a bit time lapsed. So the background was all pencils blended with a Caran d'Ache full blender. Um, this was pencils as well, the polar bear. And I think the only medium I used that were different to pencils was the acrylic paint for this sort of snow up here and the sort of waves at the top. And I love it, it's so simple but effective. I just love the colours, love the colours on this page. Super cute. So again, if you want to see how to do that, it is up on the channel as a two-part colour along. So just head over, click on playlists, colour alongs, and it will be up there. So this one is the very first page that I did in this book, and it was in my original copy, um, my first copy of the book. And when I ruined one of the pages in the other book, it fell out with it. Because what I'd done, I'd used loads of watercolour on a page in my first copy. It went totally ruined and then this page was sort of tearing out so i just sort of cut it out before it fell out and then i clipped it into here so i've got another one that i could do differently if i wanted to and it's only just when i've come on to flip through this bit that i've noticed i have spilt something on the tops of these pages i'm not sure what it is hopefully i'll be able to cover it when i go in with color because i was thinking about doing this bit of black um background black anyway so that will cover that up a bit of black acrylic. I don't know where it's come from, but it has gone over onto this page as well. So this is the next page we're coming to. If I could try and cover it up, I will, but I think it might just be one of them things where it's just happened, you have to deal with it sort of thing. So, if you can hear music outside, there's someone going past with a beatbox. It's all happening today. A bit of sun, bit of sun in UK and everyone comes out. <laughs> But yeah, this is the, is it a gorilla? I am gonna loot for this one, so don't loot silly. Is this a number nine? Is it a number nine? Number nine. Let's have a look. Mountain gorillas, yeah, I was right. Second guessing myself. So this was a soft pastel background again, and everything else was pencil work, which I'm really proud of. I'm so, so proud of all this, these trees down here. I just think they look ace. And do you know what? I didn't even log. Um, I don't think I logged the colours that I used, which is disappointing. <laughs> I always do that. I look back on pages, I think, oh, I'd like to do that again, or I'd like to use those colours again. And I haven't written them down, so I've no clue. I really like how the waterfall looks as well. And again, this effect at the bottom was just made by dabbing a little bit of acrylic paint on the bottom. And it's, it's so effective and easy to do. And that's it, that's it. So yeah, it's definitely some sort of watercolour what's spilled on here, I think, and it's just sort of gone over all my pages. But hopefully I can cover it up. Hopefully I can cover it up. We'll see. I keep looking at this little page here and thinking that'd be a quick one to just do. Um, and then this one I was thinking of getting the Inktense pencils out again and doing the same effect on that one as I did on this one because it's the same coral reef stuff around here so i was thinking going of going in with the doing intense pencils again but then 
all this white outlining which would take me forever but it's but it looks so good when it's done I'm sort of like can you imagine that done on this page as well oh, I'm just gonna have to do it one day aren't I but yeah that's it I've got a page stuck at the back there oh, something spilled there as well what has been on this book I've no idea but it's a well worked in book that's why it's a well worked well loved well worked in book <laughs> so no doubt I will be doing um some more pages next month in this book again if there's any particular page i've not already colored which you would like to see me color please drop me a comment down below and tell me which page you'd like to see done please do hit the thumbs up thanks for watching see you again soon